Hello all. I am going to make another recipe today. So this is going to be a seafood recipe, crab, crab masala or you could call it a crab fry. So uh, let me show you first the crab. Um, and if you see here, this is a huge Dungeness crab. Uh, my husband got this from Costco for $29.38. I do think it's a good deal because Dungeness crab are seasonal and also they're quite expensive. So, and it is a quite a tasty one as well. So, yeah, overall this deal is a good one. Uh, now, generally, if you take seafood, um, the lobster and crab are the most expensive ones. Uh, for just one piece, a whole crab, which is cooked, uh, they sometimes sell it for 25 to 30 dollars just for one single piece. So this has like you could see, um, uh, I think they have already done, they have already cleaned it, they have cut it and they have also pre-boiled it. So one thing we have noticed generally in US, uh, this, this especially the bigger size crab, um, I don't think it really tastes too well if you start, you know, just cooking it raw. Either it takes a long time to cook or you get some kind of that you know that sea taste or the fishy taste a lot of people don't uh, like crab because of that um so this is all the work is done the preparation has work and it has been done and i think it's a good deal given all of that so yeah it's definitely i mean it is definitely um, you know a lot of uh, you can save a lot of money by cooking at home and if you are a seafood lover i would really recommend you to try this recipe and there's one more thing I need to tell about this recipe. So this is uh, a very nostalgic uh, memory to me because my grandmom, uh, she comes from the Chetinad area. So I'm going to do the, it's going to be inspired by the Chetinad style of cooking. And uh, um, I used to watch her maybe at a very young age of five to six years. I used to just watch her cook and it used just to make me very very you know hungry just the smell and the way that she did it so it's definitely a family recipe i do not eat crab but still i enjoy making crab so because you know it just reminds me of my grandmother so i love doing this whole process so today my husband is going to eat crab he got a craving to eat crab so he's go it's i'm making this for him i hope it turns out good so i'm going to show you the recipe hope you will also try this one and um, you will you will be able to give it to your family or you know have it yourself okay thank you okay so i'm going to show the ingredients that i'm going to use for the crab masala so firstly i forgot to mention uh, this the crab is roughly around 2.1 pounds almost it is a kilogram or a, kil a kg um, not exactly but almost uh, you know that much so that is the amount of uh, uh, crab that we have and now what we are going to do is that we are going to make a paste of all these ingredients that I have here. So just let me go through all that I have. The first thing is I have some onions roughly chopped, doesn't matter how you chop, we are going to fry it and we are going to paste it again. So it doesn't matter. Uh, this is roughly three small or around two uh, medium size ones um, and then you have tomato. Tomato is relatively you know, lesser compared to the onion. So here I've taken one large big size tomato. With a smaller size, you can take two tomatoes. And then we have the hucials here. We have green chilies. Uh, we have um, garlic. Uh, we have curry leaves. We have ginger. And we have some uh, coriander leaves or uh, cilantro. So I'm going to take all of this. We are going to roast it along with some uh, masalas. So what I have here, first of all, is garam masala. For these type of curries, I always like to make, you know, the fresh uh, um, paste and then use it directly. But yeah, if you just have some kind of a garam masala at home or, you know, something that you have from a packet, it's perfectly okay to use that. Um, so yeah, don't stress yourself if you don't have it. But if you see here, I have a black cardamom, I have a cinnamon, I have a couple of cloves. Now this one, is called in Tamil, it's called Kalpasi, in Hindi it's called Dagad Fool. Now this gives that very unique Chetinad flavor. So I really recommend you to you know get this and use it. Um, it takes the flavor somewhere. And I don't know what this spice is called. If someone knows it, yeah, please let me know. 
but uh, we always use it in all of our uh, cooking so that is one more spice over here the next thing is that uh, we have pepper so traditionally right crab curry is eaten when you know people have like a cold uh, you know to get the body temperature up crab is a very heaty uh, food so it gets the thing and that pairs very well very well with pepper it really helps to get its you know whatever the medicinal uh, you know if you're fighting a cold or infection so this goes well with pepper but if you do not like pepper it's perfectly over to uh, fine to skip this pepper and directly add dried red chilies so that is fine too but i'm going with pepper the next thing here is a coriander powder uh, i don't have the coriander seeds uh, right now otherwise i just prefer to use that but uh, so i'm just going to use the powder for now now the other things like uh, salt and turmeric i'm going to add it as i'm going to you know keep cooking so those are the only other things now we're going to try uh, roast all of these they are going to make it a nice paste. I'm going to show you to do that. But I also want to show you one more thing. We need to make another paste which is going to be added at the end. Now this is really, if you ask me, right, the magic portion to the whole recipe. So point number one, uh, this is, uh, so this is nothing. It's, it's just simple coconut, very little, maybe three tablespoons, roughly around three tablespoons. A little bit of the uh, somf or sombe, you know, the, the, uh, this one. And this is the uh, gasa gasa or the kaskas powder. Now, all these three, I'm going to grind this separately and this is going to be added only towards the end. And again, don't add too much of coconut, otherwise the coconut becomes very empowering. So if you see here, if you compare it with the ratio of the other masalas, it is relatively uh, lesser. And again, this you can also make it, store it and you can use this, you know, for any kind of dishes like a kurma or something that you need to make it a little bit mild uh, if it's very spicy. So you can also make a bigger batch of this and store it and use it later. Okay, now let's get started with the recipe. Okay, so I've added roughly, uh, you know, one around one uh, tablespoon of oil here. Uh, you can use coconut oil or you can even use gingerly oil. Actually, that is the traditional oil that we use, the sesame oil, the gingerly oil. But today I'm just using the regular oil because, you know, my husband is very sensitive on using some particular, you know, oil and the smells. So I'm just going with the regular oil that I use for cooking. Now, we're going to start frying all the ingredients one by one. So I'm going to put first the onions. And again, the idea here is not to well cook them. We're just going to make a paste over here. So we're going to just quickly saute all of this. Now the reason for doing that is sometimes uh, there is a rawness. If you start using onions or, you know, especially the little older onions or the little pungent ones, there is a good chance you'll get some kind of a bitterness. To avoid that, this pre-cooking step always helps. So I really feel that, you know, um, if you think you have had this experience of your masalas or curries getting uh, bitter, do definitely try this out. Okay, now you can see at this stage, I have not browned it or anything, just made it a little bit, uh, the color to be a little bit translucent, that is all. Now I'm going to add the green chilies, the garlic and the uh, ginger. I'm going to add all of this. Okay, now at this phase, I'm going to add the tomatoes and I'm going to add all of the spices. I'm going to add the pepper, I'm going to add the garam masala and if you are going to use the whole coriander, at this phase, you can add it. Now we want to cook this for to cook at least for like a minute or so, so that all the raw taste from all of this goes away. Now if you see all of these as almost half cooked, so this is fine to you know get our paste done. But before that I'm adding some cilantro and I'm adding some curry leaves. This will add a little bit greenish tinge to the uh, curry, just a little bit. 
if you don't like it you can completely skip that it's it's totally fine uh, it's just that i like you know i like it when this is there because the flavor is more enhanced Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to off the stove at this point of time because I don't want you know the curry leaves and the uh, cilantro to really you know get overcooked and it loses its flavor and color. I'm just going to nicely toss it up. That's it. Okay, and this is ready for grinding. So we are going to make a nice smooth paste out of this. Okay. Now we are going to start preparing the actual uh, method of the uh, crabs. So I have taken here half a, a finely chopped tomato. This is just you know uh, around half. Just uh, sauté it for probably a minute or so till it becomes a little bit uh, brown. Okay, the onions have browned nicely now. Now, as I said, um, if you see, they have nicely halved the crabs and they have given it. If you don't have the pre-boiled crab, just take a little salt and a little um, turmeric and just pre-boil them for roughly around you know five minutes would do. So since it's already been done for that, I'm going to just directly load the crabs and they are really big. You can see that. Okay, now you can see that um, yeah, I did make a mistake uh, because this though this is the widest. Uh, pan I have in my house, this itself became smaller. I was not able to sort it. So my husband came and broke it down into smaller bits. And I'm going to add the masala that we created. I made a nice paste out of this. So I'm going to add this straight away. Now I'm adding this straight away mainly because uh, this has already been uh, boiled. So you, you're not going to, um, you, you know, there's no need to really like pre-cook it. Uh, and I'm, I'm just wash down the mixer mixi jar with a little more water i'm going to do it once again just not to mix any of the flavors so this is roughly going to be around one cup so we're going to add a pinch of turmeric okay and I'm going to add the salt and always salt is to taste whatever works for you, you can and always it's better to also taste it at the end of any dish to check if your salt is fine. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to uh, uh, saute this and we're going to close it and we're going to cook it for roughly around 10 minutes. So that will ensure that the masalas will go inside the crab nicely, they should coat them. And they should get some sitting time for them to seep into the, the flesh and you know make it flavorful. So I'm going to put this, I may add a little water and then I'm going to close it. Okay, now I'm going to show you halfway through, we're halfway through the cooking. So I had uh, added some more water, I had somehow managed to saute this, yeah it was a little hard with this one, uh, this pan I mean. Uh, so I have nicely, you know, um, somehow managed to sort it and if you see it is almost, you know, it, it's coming to a good stage. I do see a good color developing. It's starting to be a little browner. I thought it may be green due to the cilantro, but it didn't really, you know, make it green. And uh, the masala also has seemed to seep in. So what we're going to do is that um, this preparation is not going to take a very long time because it's already, uh, you know, a parboiled uh, crab. So I'm going to cover it. Um, just maybe for another uh, five minutes just make sure it doesn't stick to the pan so though you have covered it just keep uh, you know stay nearby and just uh, make sure that it doesn't really stick to the pan and you know get burnt okay now at this stage if you see the curry has cooked a little more uh, it's semi dry almost I'm going to add this paste so the paste that I had showed earlier coconut the somph or the somber or uh, you know the, the bigger version of the cumin that one and cuscus or gasagasa now they are slightly that gasagasa is a kind of a thickening agent it will thicken up this curry a little bit the texture would change but you'll have to wait for the very end so i'm going to add this mixture i'm going to roughly add around half now if needed to adjust the consistency i'll add more but for now i think this is uh, enough 
okay so now you can see that our uh, crab gravy is ready you can see how nicely the masala has seeped into the flesh and you know it looks very um, nicely done so you can wait if you like it a little thick you can always wait for the water to you know uh, just uh, release itself a little more and make it thick but that's all it is as simple as this the preparation once we had everything ready it was it just hardly took you know total of um, I think 10 minutes uh, just for the cooking times for the masalas to just develop themselves but otherwise this is ready to go. Hope you tried this out and um, you like it. Let me know how it comes out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so it's finally time to taste the crab masala that Veena made and it's a crab masala made in a chitnat style. So I'm going to taste, start off by tasting the gravy first, the sauce first. Mm. So the sauce really has the flavor of the crab along with all the garam masala. And it has a good kick to it, but not the spicy kick of a chili, green chili, but rather the kick of the garam masala. And let's, uh, usually I would have crab masala with rice, but since it's evening here, I'm going to pair it with dosa instead. So I'm going to use my dosa and kind of uh, take the first bite of the crab masala with the crab meat included in it. It's going to be a little messy. Cra eating crab is always messy. So I think we have to be a little messy and use our hands. And get some piece of the crab flesh outside. Mix it with our dosa, get some of the gravy and eat it. Mm. The Dungeness crab is just perfect. Ever since the crabbing season has started in California, we've been getting wonderful Dungeness crab. And Veena's dish has merged the Indian flavor with the Californian crab in a really good way. Where the crab has kind of absorbed the flavor of the masala and is not tasteless by itself. I'm going to enjoy myself eating this dish. Thanks everyone. Thank you.